really brought up by a spaghetti carbonara purist. Mm. Love it. And it's perfect for a TV dinner. Look at this. Mm. And that's it. That's how easy it is to make a wonderful spaghetti carbonara at home. I love spaghetti and while our menus usually have a very wide selection of low carb recipes sometimes it's time to just carve it up and today we're going to do exactly that so we're going to be making spaghetti carbonara with beef bacon and salad so this is a very quick recipe it takes you about 20 minutes to prepare and it's perfect for either a weeknight uh, dinner guests or just for a TV dinner. I'm gonna start by cutting my bacon. I'm gonna make really thin strips. So the next step is to mince the garlic. So I'm gonna peel the garlic and I'm gonna cheat a little bit and I'm gonna use my garlic mincer. Okay, so this is all the prep that's needed in the first step. And now we can put our pan on. Let's do medium heat. So I'm not adding any oil to my pan. This is because the bacon has quite a bit of fat in it. So now we're getting a nice sizzle on the pan. So we're gonna fry the bacon until all the fat melts. So it's gonna be about six to eight minutes depending on the speed of your pan. So I was really brought up by a spaghetti carbonara purist, my dad. So when I go home, uh, he insists on making me a spaghetti carbonara the proper way every single time and that's always with just the raw yolk on top. But I've adopted this version, um, it's very child friendly, my kids love it and we'll add a little splash of cream to this one. So now as you can see it's starting to crisp up, so I'm gonna toss in the garlic. Mmm, lovely. Alright, I'm gonna switch off my pan and put it on the side. This is a really important step because we want the pan to cool down properly before we start tossing in the um, egg mixture so that we don't make scrambled eggs. And I'm going to take my pot of water, I'm going to add a little bit of salt and I'm going to put it to heat. So now I can hear my pasta water boiling. So let me take the spaghetti and we're going to put it in the pot. And now is where we need to speed it up because all the rest of the prep needs to happen while the pasta is boiling. I'm going to need two eggs. I'm going to whisk these eggs just to break the consistency. I'm going to add in the cream. So for this one I'm going to use just half the cream, 100 ml. I'm going to add in the cheese, so I've got some Grana Padano here. So that's the whole bag. I might keep just a little bit to put on top of my spaghetti as well. A little bit of salt and the pepper. Okay, another little whisk and this is ready. All right, I'm gonna check on my spaghetti. Good, they need another three, four minutes so we've got the time to prepare the salad. So I'm gonna cut the salad first. I'm put it in the colander and I'm going to give it a good rinse. Okay, I'm going to put the salad in a bowl. I have some nice cherry tomatoes today. So depending on the size, you might want to cut them in half or in quarters. Adding them in the bowl. Then the cucumber. So I'm just going to slice them. Alright, olives. So I have some Kalamata olives. Kalamata is a region in Greece and they make one of the best olive oils and obviously the best olives. And then we're going to whisk a little dressing. So for my dressing I'm going to use a little bit of olive oil to start, so about two tablespoons. So next I'm going to add in some mustard and I have here some grainy mustard or moutarde à l'ancienne as we would say in France, uh, old school mustard. I'm going to add in the honey and I'm going to add the balsamic vinegar last. I'll finish off my sauce with a splash of salt and pepper. Okay, so the pasta is now ready. I'm going to keep a little bit of the pasta water on the side in case I need it for my uh, a cream sauce later. So I'm going to keep about a cup and then drain the water. So I'm now going to add the spaghetti into the pan with the beef bacon and I need to make sure that the pan has cooled down, that the surface is no longer hot. Here comes the spaghetti. To mix it up I'm going to add a little bit of the pasta cooking water and then I'm going to add in my mixture of cream and eggs. And that's it. That's how easy it is to make a wonderful spaghetti carbonara at home. 
let's plate it. So now we're getting ready to serve. So I'm going to toss in the um, dressing. It's going to be a nice balance of all this freshness next to the indulgent carbonara. Then my carbonara. It's always a bit messy when dealing with spaghetti. I'm going to garnish it with some fresh parsley, the parmesan, and a generous pinch of black pepper. Here we are. I hope you enjoyed this speedy, speedy spaghetti carbonara. As you can see, I can't wait to tuck in. But if you want to see other really fast and delicious pasta recipes to save your weeknights, you can find them by clicking here. But for now, we're not Mmm. Mmm.